Hey guys, what's up? And last time we were building this uh, movie theater, and today we are hopefully going to finish it. Um, so yeah, so what we're gonna want to do is we're going to um, alright, just bear with me here. Alright, so what you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna come from your entrance, and you're going to, on right about here, we're going to put, alright, so from this doorway, we're going to go all the way to the end, to where this red clay is. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, place a block there. Now, you want to do this in spruce wood, because it's going to pop out a lot more due to it being an oak wood floor. So what we're going to do here is we're going to skip where that window is. So make a free, skip one, two, three, little pattern here. Then we're going to go on this side, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Alright, so here we have this little design we have here, but we're going to fill that in. We're going to break this side, put a little trapdoor there, and then I'll do the same on this side and put a little trapdoor there so that the employees can get in. Alright, so... We're going to add, how do I want to do this? I definitely know I want stairs. So I'm going to keep the stairs, and we're going to use, what are, what are these called? What are these called? Okay, Acacia, whatever. Sorry, language sucks. All right, stairs. And we're not going to place them there, but I just wanted to see what they look like, and they do not match this whatsoever, so just do regular oak wood stairs. And they just look uh, a bit nice on these corners here. But uh, you can add oak wood stairs if you want to. And what I personally am going to do is try to... I'm going to add a slab. There, so kind of we have this little design here. So what you're gonna do is you're then gonna go one from here, and you're gonna place one uh, stair, and you're gonna have this little thing right here that you see right here. Then going to want to take uh, signs, and you're going to sorry if you hear my dog in the background. And you're just gonna do this little same design as we did last time on those chairs on the inside of those um check out little center thing, whatever you call them. Alright, and so um I thought this was a cool little design um that I found. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, a little pressure plate. We're going to take a sign and place it back on the pressure plate so it looks like that. And it's what you can do, honestly, is you can type like a total or something like that. Or, um, let me see what size it appears on. So let's just type in a bunch of. Yeah, we. Okay. Beautiful sign, our sign says we. So is what we're going to do is we're going to do this. And let's just say $1.25 on this one. $1.25, $1.50. You can put whatever you want. That's what I'm putting. $1.25. 
And then I'm going to put on this one, let's do $6. Alright. And so then, you know, now your sign looks okay, but uh, we can do better. So, take a painting and just smack it on and you can do this until you get the painting that you want but I really don't care about painting so those are a little like cast registers sort of things cast register computer sort of tight things alright so uh, Next up is our little popcorn machine. We're going to add in the back here. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab red wool, yellow wool, a button, some ladders, a piece of some glass, and you're gonna want to get iron, iron bars, signs, and stone slabs. Alright, so it's really, really just a simple design. It looks kind of neat. So you're gonna want to place uh, from one here. Gonna place one red block. Run. I'm gonna call them blocks. Whatever. All right. Run one yellow wool. You're just gonna place a button on the yellow wool and a button on the side of the red wool. Then you're gonna take your ladder and you're gonna place it in the front so it looks like that on the red. Take your glass, do that. Take your iron bars, do that little design right there. And you're then gonna want to take your stone slabs and just slap them on the top. So it looks like this. That's gonna be your little popcorn machine. That's what you can do is you can just put like a. Uh, is what you can. You can um honestly put uh you can put a stone if you want to. Um, I'm gonna do that design, but um, I'm not the best for movie theater interior design. So just bear with me here. So um, then is what you're going to want to do. As uh, yeah, just um, if you want to clear your little inventory out, and we're just gonna do a little simple design here, which is we're gonna grab furnace, a chest, and we're gonna grab us. Um, stone brick stairs and stone bricks. I'm also going to grab some pressure plates. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your uh, little more uh, pressure plates on top of them. Alright, so you're going to want to click on this to put the pressure plate on top of the furnace. But we're going to separate the furnace and the popcorn with a stone. And on top of the stone, I'm going to put black carpet. Just because it looks nice. And I'm going to put uh, two ovens. And then I'm going to put a little sink design. Which is, you grab a cauldron, a water bucket, and a lever. And what you can do is you can just put water in the cauldron. And when we add this back wall, we can just go ahead and already make this back wall of, um, I believe we're going to make it out of clay for now. Just for the time being, we're probably most likely going to change it due to it not looking too nice on the inside. Yeah. You can, um, you don't have to put clay. If you don't want to, you can do uh, whatever brick you want to for this interior. And you're going to stack the clay as high as we have been doing. 
So I believe it's I believe it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You guys stack it ten blocks up. I thought we were stacking it ten blocks up, but I just wanted to make sure so I didn't tell you guys the wrong information. And then when you get to the tenth block, as usual, put your stone, your uh, eh, not your stone, your uh, snow down. So you have uh, this little sort of design here. All right, you're then going to want to take the chest, and uh, you can delete that. You. We don't need a chest, honestly. But I want a chest. So you know what? The chest goes there. All right. So is what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab a redstone torch and some redstone lamps. You can do this with glowstone if you want to. I just honestly prefer redstone lamps because I feel like they look a bit nicer than glowstone. All right, and you can just put one, or you can put as many as you want to down. I'm going to put one in the very middle. Uh, middle of these chairs, one out, so it looks a bit nice. And I'm just going to follow that up with uh, two more behind the chairs. Just uh, produce a bit more light so it looks nicer. Alright, so it, what I'm feeling like is this ceiling is a bit too big. So, is what you're going to want to do is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up. You're going to grab your stone, you're going to stone. You're just going to put stone there. I don't know why I did that, but you know. And you're just going to drag your stone all the way over to the other stone and connect both of the stones together to make stone. So it uh, looks like, um, it should look like uh, this. And uh, it actually is a very nice design. Because then is what you can do is we can uh, put some nice redstone lamps up on the ceiling. So is what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this too high of stone. Just so in case I decide that I want to add some redstone lamps, I can. Also, because I like the layers a bit thick. Because I feel like that's just what I need to do. And so I do it. Alright. So now we're done with that. But let's say you really doesn't start till whenever it starts. Um, and so we're going to make a little sit down little area here. So is what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take... Um, Stone slabs, and you're gonna want to make like a little couch here on each side. And the couch is one, two, three, four, and then one out, and then you add your stone slabs. It looks uh, a little nice little design here we have for the interior. And then is what we're going to want to do is we're going to grab our oak fences and we are going to uh, put like a little, uh, what do you call it, a lamp of course, of course I feel so stupid not for knowing that and we're going to put little lamps on the side here just because it uh, it looks better I, 
don't really know. And you can put your little uh, torches above them. Yeah, I know it doesn't look the best, but uh, I have to work with uh, my dog barking in the beautiful background. Alright, so this is what you should have so far. And is what you're gonna want to do. You're gonna take your stone, and you're just going to fill this all the way on, just up to the sides here. You're gonna fill it all in for the top, kind of like our roof. Um, the reason we're doing this is because if you leave like all of this up. It's not going to, it's going to look like the area is uh, too big, and we don't want that. Well, not too big, but um, too high up, because usually, normally, if you look up into a building, and you're inside the theater or whatever, they're not, like, super high up, but the outside is. So, I think we might add a second floor. I don't know. You guys can if you want to. I don't think I'm going to, honestly. But uh, yeah, we have this little design here going on for us in here. All right, so for now, you should only have this here. And is what we're going to do next is I feel like it's fairly lighted but um i feel like we could add some more light in here so from the glass you're gonna one two break a block then from uh, one over you're gonna break a block actually no you're, you're gonna want to go um about uh, over to this next class and you're gonna break a block and so that's their four apart. And then you're going to go one, two, three, four again. And then break another block. So you have this. And let's see. Will they light if you place... I feel stupid for placing these now. And I feel stupid for breaking that row because it's on this row. So no, they do not like if you put that on. So we're going to put little levers, lever, levers. Sorry, on top of them. God, I'm placing levers everywhere. I just need them on that one block, but it just would not go. And so put levers on them so that they light up. And we have a nice little lit area over here. So two from there, we're just going to do the same. So break each two apart. And then two apart from that, do the same. Just because um, if you look about the ceiling, it will have more, um, uh, what you call it? Uh, it just looks, it looks better. Because instead of, you usually don't only have one roll of light. So, I, I don't know what your movie theater looks like. But, uh, mine definitely does not. And you're just going to want to light them up again. No. So, you have that going on in here. Which looks, honestly, pretty nice. So we're looking pretty good right now. Is then, then is what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab hmm, quartz. You're going to want to grab your block of quartz. And you're going to go two on both sides. And make, make that three on both sides. And fill in this corner with uh, quartz right there. And then you're gonna fill this 
in with quartz. But like I said, fill in uh, each corner here. Is is what you're gonna want to do is just so it looks better. You want to take a redstone, red stained clay, and just fill in those corners like so. So, um, I think I screwed up, and I just screwed up here on this little thing right there. And you're gonna want to do this little design here. This is what I'm about to show you. You're gonna want to copy it. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take quartz slabs quartz stairs and a red stone lamp and we're going to make this free out so make it free out and just stack it up on each side we're going to be doing the same on the next side. Alright. The only reason I'm making it free out is due to the little uh, design that I'm going to be doing. Hopefully we have enough space to do it though. I do not know. If we don't, that is fine. We just won't do it. Alright. So you're going to want to bring it down one from where it is. So what you should have is it's free blocks this way. Free blocks up, and you're gonna do stairs, upside down stairs on each of the sides. So you get this little design here. You're then um, going to want to make a little pathway. But for this pathway, we're going to do like a little checkered kind of. You can grab carpet or whatever you want to use. I'm going to do a little checkered design with just carpet here because I already have it placed down Be and because it gives it this little nice little design. So what you're going to do is uh, in the middle here is you're going to place a redstone lamp and you're going to just light it up so it looks a very nice little entrance here for uh, the beginning for the beginning down to um, your little movie theater area and that's gonna lead into the movie theater all right so on the same on this side you're gonna do the same design so we're going to make it exactly all right so take it free from the corners here, fill in your little corner, fill in the little corner, take your red clay, and uh, you're going to want to bring that back by free, and make this little pillar thing that we've been making. Right, do the same to this. Oops. All right. Yeah, keep messing up. All right, there we go. Fill this in. Bring it down about one, making it a free by free entrance. Put your stairs, and in the middle, you're going to want 
to put a lamp. Just like that. And again, we're going to do our little checkered design here. Just like that. So we have a little checkered design entering into the movie theaters. And it looks pretty nice. Um, yeah. Alright, so this is, again, part two. And, um, yeah. Well, I'll see you guys in the next part. I hope you're enjoying this build. I know that I am. I know this is my first build that I'm going to be doing. And if you want me to do more, let me know.